This is uh, really important to me because, to be honest, I get many technicians that send me examples of their work, which is always beautiful. But what I really need is somebody that has the same vision I do can help make decisions when I'm not there. Because there are many decisions, no matter how well you plan, that the person on the lab bench has to be, as you mentioned, in a collaborative role, means they're able to be an equal contributor to the outcome, be able to make decisions, and not be somebody that's just following a recipe. So there's a difference between being a chef and just being able to cook because you can follow a recipe. I need somebody that can utilize their talents, be creative when they need to be creative, because what typically happens, and when I'm working with the talented technicians that I work for, it's not as much what's on the written prescription, it's what's not written that many times often becomes the most important elements of the, of the outcome. Because we don't sit and write every single detail, but the person on the, on the lab bench has to really have a total understanding of all of those details. So what is a teammate? Right? Isn't that what a teammate truly is? And when you think about it, it puts a lot of onus on the technician. Because part of our job now is to interpret that. And not everything may be written out after a period of time. And it makes sense because the concept here is as a teammate, my job is to have my, dent my dentist partner's back as theirs is to have mine. So the team concept becomes much more critical to the end result here. But I like to kind of, again, switch that onus a little bit back to the technician because I think that's where the technicians have lacked a little bit. And I think training centers have helped us much in that area and working more as a team will be the future. So for me, uh, I'm looking into the five, 10 year plan down the road. And if, if we're not up to that level, there'll be some challenges for us in the future.